gonna start using a face primer using this Tila SPF 30 all free sheer color tinted moisturizer and I'm gonna apply this all over my face so I'm just gonna use my hand to apply this product to take is my foundation which is this fantastic matte foundation that I got from Chemist Warehouse in Blacktown West Point and this is only $4.99 so this is in sand number 02 I'm just gonna pop this at the back of my hand and using my F82 brown kapuki brush from Sigma gonna buff the foundation in now taking my sponge which is this one uh, I'm just gonna blend all the foundation just to smoothen and creates me a flawless finish Okay, now next is to cover all the dark spots, pimples, blemishes. I'm using a Max Factor Master Touch Under Eye Concealer, which is this one. And this color is in page 309. Taking my sponge again and just push the concealer on your skin. Next is to set all the foundation and concealer. I'm using this Maybelline powder foundation in clear smooth extra and this color is natural. Also it has SPF. So using my this um, powder um, sponge. So I'm just gonna dip the sponge on the foundation and just push the powder on my skin. Next is our eyes. So I'm gonna use this eyeshadow, Essence Eyeshadow, that I got from Target, and this is only for. I think I can remember but two dollars something and this color is delirious delirious show sparkling so this is a super soft and long-lasting eyeshadow and taking my large fluffy brush Taking your blending brush, and I'm just gonna blend the edges to soften it. Taking my Maybelline Two in One Impact Ash uh, Impact Shadow Liner, so I'm just gonna line my um, lid coming closer to my lash line, and don't worry if you on if you make a mess or 
not perfect because we're gonna smudge it the black liner to create a smoke effect. Smudger brush, which is this one. This is a, um, a sponge tip. So, this is from e.l.f. Professional Smudge Eye Sponge. And smudge the black eyeliner that we put. Now, to set our eyeliner that we put on our eyes. I'm gonna be using a black eyeshadow. So if you don't have a MAC carbon, you can use any black eyeshadow that eyeshadow that you have. Any black eyeshadow will do. And using my small, really small brush, which is this brush. If you don't have a small brush, you can use a Q-tip to apply the eyeshadow. Using the um, black uh, eye pencil again, I'm gonna put some of this uh, um, black eye pencil or liner on my waterline and tight line. Then taking a Q-tip, I'm gonna smudge the um, eyeliner that we put on our waterline. And using a precision brush, which is this one, which is really small brush. So apply the black eyeshadow on your waterline to set the uh, black eyeliner. Now taking your Q-tip again and smudge the edges. Next is get your this kind of brush right here, I think this is also a smudger brush, but you know, it's not the other sponge one. And using the eyeshadow that we put on our lid, which is this one again, just get the tip of the brush and apply this under your lower lash line. So back to our blending brush again and blend the eyeshadow. So next is taking your angle brush like this one and using this color right here, which is this one. This color. So this one is a designer brand. I got this in Chemist um, Warehouse also in Blacktown West Point and I got this for I think I think three dollars or five dollars and yeah so this color get this color and apply this to your brow bone as your highlight. So I'm just gonna curl my lashes and add mascara. So the mascara that I'm going to use is this Feather Lash from L'Oreal. So this is a water resistant.
our brows, I'm gonna be using a ankle brush, which is this one, and using my Fashion 21 um, brow uh, duo powder. Just this one. So I'm gonna take this dark color right here and apply this on my brow hair. Next that I'm going to do is using the brush that we used before. I'm just gonna clean all the eyeshadow that fell on our face. Um, with our lashes, which is it's optional. You can use a false lashes. Make sure that it's more natural. It's look natural. And yeah, but if you have a long lash, you can just curl your lashes and you know just put mascara and that's it. So next that I'm going to do is using this blush uh, BYS from BYS and this one is Peach Sunday and using my blusher brush Our look, I'm using Intuit, and the color of this one is um, Berry number 06. I'm gonna show you the color, so something like this. And the lip gloss that I'm going to use is um, this photo finish lip gloss. The color of this one as well, it doesn't say anything though, but you can get this in um, Chemist, their white outlet and this is only a, a dollar. So I already um, put a lip balm on my lips just to make, um, make my lips moisturize. Taking our lip gloss, I'm just gonna apply, scrub some lip gloss and apply it on my hands because I don't want to mix the color. And using my lip brush, I'm just gonna get the lip gloss and apply this. So this is it guys, so this is the finished look of my um, back to school makeup tutorial and I hope you like this tutorial, just please don't forget to subscribe, hit like and respond on my video. So yes, thank you for watching, God bless everyone and see you in my next tutorial, bye bye.